The rate constant k and temperature t, well, the equation that links them is this rather complicated looking Arrhenius equation, which you need to know more about later. k and t both appear in it. So it might not be entirely clear from this equation, but as t increases, k will also increase. And vice versa, as t decreases, k will also decrease. The temperature and the rate constant go hand in hand. So let's explain why. Well, collision theory says that molecules need to hit. They need to hit with energy greater than or equal to activation energy. And they need to hit in the right place in order for a successful reaction to occur. Have the correct geometry, if you will. So how does temperature play into those three ideas? Well, temperature gives a tick for the first two and a cross for the last one. So temperature causes more collisions. You have to say per unit time or the IB won't give you the point. And in terms of the energy, there are higher energy collisions. So therefore the collisions are more likely to have energy greater than or equal to Ea. And we're done.